Hi there, Attorney Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law. I want to discuss a little bit about uh, folks who are entering into contracts to buy condominiums or other kinds of real estate, but, but I want to specific, specifically reference condominiums. Mm -hmm. A lot of times these, these condos have a certain amount of time to deliver the property. Sometimes they can deliver it, deliver it in two years, but typically it goes out as much as five years. And in some cases, uh, the developer will promise it in two years, but really has five years to do so. But if they exceed those five years, um, then in fact, um, you are entitled to, to your money back under, under certain state and federal laws. Um, and so one of the things we do when we're, we're working with, with folks is, is to see whether or not they are still interested in proceeding with, with uh, their contract, because a lot of times time gets in the way, life gets in the way of changes and decisions that you've made. You decide you're gonna live here and then you decide you're gonna live somewhere else. Uh, something happens to your family and, and, and or someone gets sick and the circumstances change and so sometimes people are trying to find ways to get out of a, of a, of a contract and there are different ways to get out of a condominium contract. Sometimes you can assign your, your, uh, your, your contract to a third party, sometimes you can assign it back to the developer, sometimes for a small fee and other times we can find ways that there were improper disclosures, material disclosures uh, that were not made to uh, you as a buyer and thus because of that your rights to actually get out of the contract exist. And so what, what, what could be material disclosures? Well, uh, one kind of disclosure could, could be that um, you're near a dump or that there's certain uh, noises that, 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 that are occurring that, that the developer should have told you about in some, in some circumstances. Or maybe uh, that Indian in uh, remains had been found and the developer should have, should have indicated that, that, that they knew that and should have told you that. But there, there are all different kinds of circumstances that the, that the developer has an obligation to disclose to you in, in, the, do, in the developer documents. And if they don't, you have the right to revoke and, and terminate the agreement after they amend the agreement to reflect those changes, and then you have like, I think seven or 10 days to decide if you want to proceed. And in some cases, developers, for whatever reason, or their attorneys make decisions. Sometimes uh, it's neglectful and sometimes it's intentional where they don't want to bring something to your attention. And to the extent that we know that and find that out, we're in the, in the, in the ability to negotiate with the developer to get your money back. But if prices have gone up, over the years, which they have for the most part in, in Florida, you have an option actually at that point uh, to exercise and that you may be making a lot of money by keeping the contract. So you don't want to necessarily uh, jump and terminate your contract when you're in the money. And so if you're in the money, you know, maybe time is on your side. But sometimes because circumstances change and you want out, uh, there are ways for us to evaluate and look at your rights as a purchaser of a condominium that's not completed. So if you have any questions about this, please feel this up a consult uh, with, with the lawyers at Oppenheim Law, Roy Oppenheim from the trenches.